Good evening and welcome to the World Match Racing Tour today. I'm Hannah White and I am joining you live after day one from Sam Moritz Match Race. It's been a great day so far. The Maloya wind has steamed down the valley and has brought us some fantastic racing conditions. The race committee have done a wonderful job of getting through 10 flights today. So we do have the all important results for you after day one. So, leader of the tour so far, Francesco Bruni, didn't have a great start today with two wins and three losses. Morvan of France with four wins and one loss, a good start for him. Williams of Great Britain with five wins and no losses, a fantastic start. Radic of Denmark and Adrian Lee and Partners Racing Team with just one win and four losses. Mersky of Australia with two wins and two losses. Hansen of Sweden with three wins and two losses. Yell of France with three wins and two losses. Richard of France with just one win and four losses. Robertson of New Zealand with two wins and three losses. Bernson of Sweden with four wins and no losses. A great start for them. Mono of uh, Switzerland with one win and four losses. And Clerk of Switzerland with no wins and five losses losses so there you are there are the results today it's been a great day out on the water i'm joined by a plethora of guests this evening first of all we're going to start with eric mona from switzerland he has had quite a day out on the water and here's a little bit of footage from some of his action from today out on the water for local sailor Eric here from Switzerland. Eric, tell me a little bit about your day. I know you're not ever so happy with the start to Samaritz match race. Uh, no, it didn't start so well. Uh, so far we, 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 we were able to win a match, but we were deducted uh, for half a point twice. So we end up at zero. So yeah, staying the, uh, all the day uh, at the pool at the hotel would have been the same on the scoreboard, but uh, much less expensive in terms of a damage deposit. So yeah, that's, that's not a good day. And how do you get past today? Obviously not a great start. I know you wanted to come here and do really well and make your mark on this event. What, what are you going to do tomorrow to try and clear your head and, and move forward? Yeah, I, I don't think we, we have to change so much because we, we did some good moves on the water and uh, we were not sailing always uh, very good, but uh, we, we, we would have been able to win some matches without these uh, issues about uh, collisions and um, umpire decisions and things like that. So, so I think tomorrow we don't have to change too much about uh, maneuvers and the way to sail around the course, which was quite good. But for sure, we have to try to avoid uh, these uh, these uh, hot uh, situations at the start and to to be clear, uh, yeah, when it, when it gets close. Because today, uh, yeah, we were always um, having big troubles uh, whenever it gets close at uh, the pre-start. Do you think were you nervous? Do you think that was part of the problem? Um, not not sure about no. Maybe we we're a bit too aggressive. That's probably the conclusion we should should have. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, I, I didn't feel well on, on some points. But 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 I, I was not especially nervous on this. Of course, uh, yeah, you want to 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 do well today, and uh, uh, we're a bit nervous. But I don't think that this was the issue. 
And what about your matches? Who were you racing today? And were they particularly difficult people or did you have a mixed bag? Yeah, we, we had a very interesting match against Jesper Radich, which, uh, which was decided just at the finishing line, where against we, it was an umpire decision uh, to where, where they thought we have broken the overlap, which was then uh, where we, we do, wouldn't have the right to love them up, but it was very interesting and, and very open till the end. And the match against uh, Ian Williams yeah, was decided always with penalties. Um, the match, I think the match against Damien Yale, that was the third match, was the, the one we lost really on the water and around the course. And then against uh, Morvan, we had two penalties, which were very yeah, hard for us. I think one at the start, we, which, which I still don't agree, and, and another one for touching the mark, where we, we thought we have looked very well and we, we didn't see us touching the mark. So, and yeah, these two penalties were too much. I think we were still in front having one then, but uh, getting the second one, this match was over. So, so yeah, it was not so much what we did on the water, but about yeah, where the hot situations w which were decided that decided the match. And our last match against uh, Mathieu Richard, we really tried, we did everything to stay clear at the start and then we sailed very well around the course and were able to win the match. He must be quite disappointed. Yeah, yeah, we, we have to, I think, uh, and we also have to think about what we did wrong because uh, it's, it's, it's not helping to, to say it's, uh, it's, it's the, 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 the fault of somewhere, someone else. So we, we have to do better and we sh sure have to do th the things different because the result is how it is and it is not good. OK, well, Eric Mona of Switzerland, a better day tomorrow, let's hope. But uh, if you haven't managed to see what Sam Merritt's match race is all about, here's a little VT just to wet your taste buds. One World Series. One World Championship. Well, I'm joined now by two more guests who have been battling it out on the race course today. We've got Bjorn Hansen of the Mechanomen Sailing Team from Sweden and Francesco Bruni of Bruni Racing from Italy. Now, I'm going to come to you first, Bjorn. You two were the final race of the day. You had a resale to do, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We had some problems with our boat this morning, so... Uh uh, actually, the first flight of the day, uh, our match was postponed to to after the all racing today. So, um, yeah, we had a tough tough race in the afternoon. But you ended up winning. Just talk me through the start. You uh, you looked like you won the left, and you you wanted the left. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Actually, we wanted uh, the right when we had uh, about two minutes to go. But then, uh, about uh, with a minute to go, we we changed and said that we wanted the left instead and uh, Francesco just barely managed to, to take the left. He was about, I would say, two seconds early or something, so he had to bail out. And, uh, but, he, but he came back pretty good on the, on the right-hand side anyway. So, so uh, coming up to the top mark, we were more or less even. OK, well, before you go any more, we've got a little bit of a clip from that action today. So here is the start between Bjorn Hansen and Francesco Bruni. I'm Acht, sieben, sechs, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins und Start. So there's a split tack off the starting line. Francesco Bruni took the right-hand side and Bjorn Hansen the left-hand side. Bjorn Hansen now just tacked 
Francesco Bruni and his team hiking out hard to get the best speed off the boat. There's a nice little puff on the right hand side they're just going to get into actually. And uh, we'll see if that will be shifting nicely. Actually, yeah, it turns. So Francesco and his team, they're attacking just now. And there will be a cross coming up soon. It's a nice shift for them. But for now, uh, the same happens actually on the other side uh, for Bjorn. So there's, uh, it's getting close here on the cross. At the moment, it looks like Bjorn is actually a cross. Looks like he could cross. It's getting close. He, no, he can't. He has to tack. Just tacking underneath him. Francesco has to go again. So Francesco, Bjorn did a great job of defending the left all the way up that beat and then really kept you out at the top mark. Yeah, he did a very great, good job. Uh, it was a very nice match right, right from the beginning. Uh, the start was uh, full of action and then uh, we had the right but uh, he, he was always uh, uh, bow ahead on crosswind and uh, he defended the left uh, in a strong way. Uh, there was a moment where we felt uh, we were sneaking out uh, from the right but uh, we didn't do a great job. Uh, one of our tech, tech were, was quite bad and, and we lost an opportunity there. And uh, he did a great job there on the, on the top mark, extending a little bit. Uh, but was uh, full of action on the downwind as well, but I don't want to <laughs> tell more. OK, well, let's just have a look at that top mark action and see the good work that Bjorn Hansen did, keeping Francesco Bruni out from that top mark. Mark, laughing a lot. Bjorn just laughed Francesco. Both boats head to wind. Bjorn Hansen's got to be careful to not go past head to wind, but he's tacking, ta uh, going back down again yeah he's he made a nice job there he got a nice distance between the boats so he's he's stretching here nicely he's got like one one boat length lead probably one and a half boat length lead for um, Bjorn Hansen from Sweden on Palace boat now turning up going around the top mark Francesco Bruni just behind him. Now it'll be up to a better spinnaker set. We'll see who makes a better spinnaker set. Spinnaker coming up on the palace boat. Brace coming back. Nice set on Bjorn Hansen. Nice set as well on Francesco Bruni. So that was the top mark. And Bjorn, you managed to extend your lead a bit there, right the way into the bottom mark. Just tell us what happened next. Well, coming into the bottom mark, we were a little bit late with our uh, spinnaker drop. So, uh, and uh, Matthias on the bow just managed to hang on to the boat. He was almost halfway in the water. So it felt good to see that he was still on board when we were jiving coming around the mark. But uh, I also saw uh, Francesco coming quite quick from behind. So uh, I actually turned the boat a little bit quick to, to uh, make sure that he wouldn't be able to come behind us and go on the upper side of us so he had to choose uh, to go below us and uh, as he established an overlap from uh, behind i had to give him room to to laugh to uh, to close hold uh, but after that we thought that he was still laughing over close hold and uh, i think that he didn't think he was uh, over close hold so we both uh, protested and luckily for us the the umpires agreed with us for once. Okay, well, before we have a look at that, Francesco, do you agree with that? Do you agree with the uh, umpire's decision? No, uh, the description by Bjorn is absolutely perfect. It uh, uh, was exactly how he described it. We are faster, we had to choose, uh, we went uh, on the leeward side, and uh, I tried to stay as close as I could to him. Uh, uh, my jib was uh, flapping a bit because I was under his uh, sails. Uh, I, I think uh, it was one of those 50-50 ones and uh, went on his side, but uh, I knew that it was going to be like that and uh, I had to try something to, to, to turn the match around. So um, I wouldn't change uh, anything of what I did there. Uh, maybe next time I will be luckier. OK, well, the umpires chose to go in the favour of Bjorn Hansen, but let's have a look and see what you at home think of the decision. This is the bottom mark rounding. Jived away, he's going to try and make it as nice rounding as possible. Dropping the spinnaker early. 
Well, Bjorn is a little bit in trouble with his spinnaker there. Can he get it down on time? Oh, the... no, just okay. But better rounding on Francesco. So he has to be careful not to hit him. He actually overlapped there to Lourdes. So much nice surrounding on the Italian boat. Protest flags flying. We'll see what the jury, ooh, blue one on Francesco Bruni. Francesco Bruni got a penalty there. He was trying to luff Bjorn Hans. So Bjorn, you took that match, but all in all, how was your day? How do you feel your performance was? Ah, uh, it feels okay. We had our ups and downs. Uh, it's very tricky to sail here. I mean, uh, it's a lot of shifts and the puffs coming down pretty quick. So it's uh, quite tough to predict the, the wind. And um, so we had uh, two really good uh, matches in the start of the day, in the beginning of the day, and then two a little bit poorer against uh, Mursky and Bernson. But 3-2 uh, is an okay score. For sure. And you got a new face on board this week. Yeah. Or actually a really old one, <laughs> almost as old as me. No, but uh, seriously, he, he's been sailing a lot with us uh, previous years, but uh, he just became a, f a father and he's got a new job and everything like that. So he, he, he couldn't really sail too much with us this year. It's Anders Jonsson. And how does that affect the team? No, I mean, we had a fantastic week uh, two weeks ago when we did the Europeans up in, uh, in uh, the Orland Islands. Uh, so we were exactly the same team as we are now, so we feel pretty good actually. Okay, and Francesco, you're at the top of the table at the moment. Do you feel like there's a lot of pressure? Ah, well, the pressure is always there and uh, the, the competition is it's very, very tough. Um, <clears throat> we didn't perform uh, great today, only two points out of five. Uh, we'll be stronger tomorrow, we'll have a little chat between us and uh, I'm sure we can do better. Okay, well, very good luck, Francesco and Bjorn Hansen, and of course, Eric Mona, who we had as our guest on the show earlier. We will be bringing you live coverage tomorrow between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock, UTC plus 2. I'll be back in the morning with the morning show, and we'll also be back tomorrow evening. So plenty of coverage for you to watch. Do join us here at Sam Ritz Match Race.